This video is going to be on common neutrophil morphology. So first I'll start off with a normal segmented neutrophil. This segmented neutrophil has light pink cytoplasm and it has very dense chromatin with a pinch to its nucleus. So the things that makes a segmented neutrophil a segmented neutrophil is the nuclear pinch. The next neutrophil morphology I'm going to talk about is the band neutrophil. So unlike the segmented neutrophil, there are no pinches to the nucleus, or if there is a pinch, the pinch is less than or equal to one-third of the widest width of the nucleus. And I'm going to draw some pictures to better explain the pinched versus not pinched. So I have drawn four neutrophils, each with band-shaped nuclei, and you can see that the band-shaped nucleus can take on different morphologies, and you can relate them to the alphabet, so they can have a C morphology, U, L, or S morphology. And when I talk about the widest width of the nucleus, I'm talking about this area here. So if we have a pinch to the nucleus that is just a little pinch, just a little indent, less than one-third that widest width, width, then we call it a band neutrophil. However, if we have a pinch that is even deeper, so in, in this case we have a deeper indent that's greater than one-third of that widest, widest width, then we would classify that neutrophil as a segmented neutrophil. So what is the significance of band neutrophils? Well, they are younger neutrophils. They're one stage right before the segmented neutrophil. And most commonly, we see increases in this cell type in blood during times of inflammation. There are other rare causes of increase in band neutrophils in blood, but for this course, we're just going to focus on identifying increases in bands as inflammation. The next morphology I'm going to go over is toxic neutrophils or toxic change. And there are three morphologies that are most common um, in our veterinary species. And that is basophilic cytoplasm, doly bodies, and foamy cytoplasmic vacuolization. So in these three neutrophils, all of those morphologies are shown. First, I'll circle the doly bodies. These are dense blue aggregates within the cytoplasm and they represent aggregates of retained rough endoplasmic reticulum. You don't have to know that but you shouldn't be able to identify a doly body and know that uh, it is a sign of toxic change. Two of these neutrophils have foamy cytoplasm um, so foamy vacuolization to the cytoplasm, and this represents the granules being dissolved, so granule dissolution. And then the last um, morphology, the cytoplasmic basophilia, all of the toxic neutrophils display increased cytoplasmic basophilia relative to the two normal neutrophils that I show in the top. So the normal pink cytoplasm of the segmented neutrophil and the normal pink cytoplasm of the band neutrophil up at top. So the increased cytoplasmic basophilia, that represents uh, retained ribosomes, but again you don't have to know that, you just have to know that it's a sign of toxic change. So what does toxic change mean? Well, it's another sign of inflammation and we use the amount of toxic change to identify the severity of the inflammation. So if there's more severe inflammation, then we might see all three of these toxic changes in the neutrophils. But if it's just a mild severity of inflammation, then we might just see cytoplasmic basophilia, or we might just see a few doly bodies. So we can track the amount of toxic change in the neutrophils in the patient to help uh, guide and prognosis. Is the inflammation getting better or worse? The last abnormal neutrophil morphology I'm going to go over is the morula. And I've circled the morula in this neutrophil in the yellow circle. 
The significance of the morula is that is a it's a colony of bacteria within a membrane-bound vacuole within the neutrophil. And the significance is that you have now identified a rickettsial infection in the patient. And the rickettsial organism that it could be is one of your Ehrlichia species or Anaplasma species. So there you have it. You now know how to identify band neutrophils, the three common signs of toxic change, and morula.